Hello. Welcome to another video of DIA Portal. In this video, we will discuss about analog inputs and how to use it in DIA Portal. An analog input is a continuous signal coming from the field devices. Unlike the digital signals, analog input device can give any values much greater than just 0 or 1. Temperature sensor, pressure transmitter, flow meter, etc. are the common analog input devices. The signals, coming from these devices usually measured as 0 to 10 volts, 1 to 5 volts, 0 to 20 milliampere, 4 to 20 milliampere, etc. To work with analog values, PLC device must have analog I.O. channels. In this CPU, we have two analog inputs and two analog output channels. For this CPU, default settings for analog input are measurement type, voltage end, voltage range is 0 to 10 volts. The default settings for analog output are, analog output type is current and, current range is 0 to 20 milliampere. Let's assume a pressure sensor is connected to PLC and its address is IW64. To use this analog input, we need to convert this input into the normalized value. Normx function normalizes the value inside the range specified by min and max values. For normal range, the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 27,648 for 0 to 10 volts. We will save this normalized value in the global memory of PLC and use this value in the next network. After normalizing the input value, we will scale it to show value in a range using scale x function. Scale x function scales the normalized value in the data type and value range specified by the min and max parameter. For this range, you can refer to the sensor's data sheet. Let's assume, that this sensor is designed for pressure range 0 to 350 bar, and output is 0 to 10 volts. We will write these values in our code. Output 
Actual pressure is stored in global memory. Start PLC SIM and load project to the PLC. By changing the pressure sensor input in IW64, you can see change in the actual pressure value. The maximum range for pressure is 350 bar, so it will give 350 bar value at input value of 27648. CPU offers diagnostics for values below and above the normal range. For values higher than 27,648, CPU will show the pressure and start diagnostic for overflow conditions. You can use other analog input modules for other inputs like plus minus 10 volts, 5 volts, 2.5 volts. 0 to 10 volts etc. For measurements of temperature, there are dedicated analog input modules for thermocouples and RTDs. Add AIDC module into the project. Under the properties, you can select the measurement type, type of thermocouple, temperature range etc. We will keep it to default settings. A thermocouple is connected to channel 0 at address IW96. The thermocouple module measures the value of voltage connected to the analog inputs. This value can be either temperature or volts. If temperature, the value will be reported in degrees multiplied by 10. So we will use a division block in our project, and divide the value at IW96 by 10, and store the output in global memory.
Start PLC SIM and again load project to the PLC. By changing the thermocouple input value in IW96, you can see change in the actual temperature value. Change data type to real to see actual temperature value and real values. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe for more updates.